Hello and welcome back. In this part 2 video, you will learn how to numerically calculate the Lyapunov exponent for the one day chaotic map. In the part 1 of this video, we saw the theoretical concepts of the Lyapunov exponent. I suggest you to watch the part 1 video for better understanding of this video. I have given the link of part 1 in the description below. At the end of this video, you will be able to do two things with ease. The first one is numerically calculate the Lyapunov exponent and the second one is program and plot the Lyapunov exponent for the 1D chaotic map. So first we learn how to numerically calculate the Lyapunov exponent with the example of the logistic map. Now we'll see how to calculate the Lyapunov exponent for the logistic map. So we consider f of x is the logistic map. And the equation of logistic map is rx into 1 minus x. So to find the Lyapunov exponent, we need to differentiate the equation. So recall the differentiation rules we learnt in the school. For differentiating the logistic map, we need the power rule, which is dx power n by dx is equal to n x power n minus 1. So we differentiate this equation d of f of x by dx is equal to d of rx into 1 minus x by dx. We expand the equation d rx minus rx square by dx. So we get f dash of x is equal to r minus 2rx. So, we apply this f dash of x for finding the Lyapunov exponent of the logistic map. Similarly, we can differentiate any 1D chaotic map using the differentiation rules provided that the map is differentiable. Now, we will move on to the pseudocode of the Lyapunov exponent for the logistic map. Here, we set the variable Ly to 0. We are going to calculate the Lyapunov exponent for r ranging from 2.5 to 4. Assume f of x is equal to rx into 1 minus x, that is the equation of the logistic map. In the first for loop, 1000 iterations of the logistic map is ignored to remove the transient effect. In the second for loop, the Lyapunov exponent is calculated in the line lip is equal to lip plus log of absolute value of r minus 2rx. Here, the value r minus 2rx is f dash of x, which we calculated previously. Then, divide lip by n. Here, n is equal to 1000. Finally, plot the graph r versus lip. By programming the pseudocode shown previously, this graph is plotted. Here we can see the interesting phenomenon of different dynamics of the logistic map. Initially, we see that the Lyapunov exponent is negative, which denotes that the logistic map is periodic. When it is hitting zero, it is undergoing bifurcation. And finally, we see that for r greater than 3.6, the Lyapunov exponent is raising to be positive. This indicates the complex chaotic range of the logistic map. Let us cross check the dynamic behavior of the logistic map with the bifurcation diagram and the Lyapunov exponent. Notice different colors in the graph. The blue and the green bracket indicates periodicity 
where the lipanum exponent is negative. An interesting phenomenon takes place at r is equal to 3, where the lipanum exponent is 0. And this can also be observed in the bifurcation diagram, where it undergoes period doubling. And the logistic map starts to oscillate between two paths. The yellow bracket is a region where the lipanum exponent is greater than 0. And the corresponding complex behavior is seen in the bifurcation diagram. Also note that at r is equal to 3.83, the periodic window is visible in the bifurcation diagram and the lipanum exponent is negative here. Hence, we can infer that both the bifurcation diagram and the lipanum exponent reflect the same aspects of the chaotic map. Thank you for watching.